Twitter battle brewing over California's bullet train. California Governor Gavin Newsom scaled back the $77 billion project. President Trump then tweeted about the decision. He said this, California has been forced to cancel the massive bullet train project after having spent and wasted many billions of dollars. They owe the federal government three and a half billion dollars. We want that money back. Now, whole project is a green disaster. But then Governor Newsom fired back on Twitter, and he writes this, fake news. We're building high-speed rail connecting the Central Valley and beyond. This is California's money allocated by Congress for this project. We're not giving it back. The train is leaving the station. Better get on board. Also desperately searching for some wall money. The decision also one of the top editorials in the journal this morning with the headline, Death of a California Dream. Joining us right now, the conversation this morning is Wall Street Journal Assistant Editorial Page Editor James Freeman. Along with Forbes media chairman and former Republican presidential candidate Steve Jobs. We're happy to have Deidre Bolton this morning as well. Great to see everybody. Uh, Steve Forbes, of course. Steve, you are not Steve Jobs. Don't try to be Steve Jobs. It's not Easter. No resurrections Sorry yet. Sorry about that. He's the Steve, Steve Jobs Forbes. of monetary policy, right? We're so happy you're here, Steve Great Forbes. Great to be here. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So let's talk about the op-ed in the journal this morning. Uh, James, uh, your take. Yeah, this is uh, a, maybe kind of a preview of this Green New Deal. This was one of the old uh, Green Deals that didn't work out so well. You mentioned $77 billion cost. When this started out, they said it was going to be $33 billion. Now, that was obviously a gargantuan sum, now uh, close to $80 billion. And uh, I, I'm very uh, proud of my colleagues, and mainly uh, Alicia Finley at The Journal, who's been all over this for years, where... We, we would get letters from California officials complaining when we would say this bullet train to nowhere makes no sense. It's not going to be economic. It's going to have to be heavily subsidized. So when the governor is talking there about how, oh, no, we're still building the train, he has decided to keep one uh, useless, unprofitable route from Bakersfield to Merced. No economic argument for it. This is a political decision. It is going to waste more money, but not as much as originally Plans. No, it's really it's, between a rock and a hard place, right? I mean, what did he have to do? Instead of a full-out retreat, I mean, the next best thing was just limiting it, right, at this point, just to cut the law. Well, the whole, the whole thing was uh, Jerry Brown's uh, pyramid. You know, the pharaohs would be, build pyramids for themselves. This was his pyramid. And against all evidence, it was not going to work. The whole thing on mass transit outside of corridors like New York makes no sense at all. Uh, you, it tells you where you have to go, and when you get to where you go, you still have to have a car. And uh, people love the flexibility of the automobile. Get over it. It sounds like the big green deal coming out of Washington and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And $77 billion, the behind the scenes, they'll tell you it would cost over $110 billion. Well, I, I think California's Governor Newsom just wants to spend the money on other things. But it's possible that what we're seeing here is the beginning of the, the tax reform effect. I know uh, the states uh, complain mm. about the SALT mm. deduction change. Maybe, maybe this is the first moment where politicians are responding to reality and saying, okay, maybe we got to be a little more sensible. Well, that, the, that would the, be the hope here. Yeah, 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 well, the governor said in uh, that, that speech, he said uh, we have to get real. I hope he gets real on how about uh, single payer for uh, health care. Which he's still of, of, that's his pyramid right now. Oh, there's also Sanctuary City and the costs involved yes. uh, uh, around that. Look, there's no secret about how much this was going to cost, right? All of a sudden now it's too expensive and they can't afford it. But this wasn't, the numbers didn't get bigger. No, and I mean, if it had worked, it actually would have been interesting. Had it worked for the original price of 33, maybe it would have been interesting. If you talk to enough people who drive in California, I think there was a certain amount of interest at 33, but maybe not at 77, and then the 77 that doesn't work. Well, they, they, they don't like highways in California, amazingly. Here's a state with 38 million people, and the highway system is made to accommodate 18 to 20 million people. That's what happens when government's in charge of infrastructure. They always fall behind. FedEx is not falling behind on trucks, nor is UPS. The railroad system in this country, freight railroad system, is the best in the world. Uh, again, it's in private hands. Government doesn't get too involved in it, and it works. Mm. Behold. But you said that it doesn't work in California. <clears throat> It, it, well, what, what, uh, what doesn't work in California is this whole idea that mass transit can get around the fact they need a more sophisticated highway system. It's designed for 18 to 20 million people, and they haven't kept up on it. Hmm. Yeah, and and it, they could have used toll roads. They could have done a whole slew of things to deal with that traffic mess. Will he get the money back? Will, will, if he doesn't use the money for this reason, for rails, 
Will he be forced to give the money back? Uh, the California governor? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. think um, yeah, uh, <laughs> there the was president. a line in the editorial, maybe about the same odds that Mexico is going to pay for the wall. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, sticky fingers. It's, it's funny. That's one reason why he kept that uh, little thing in the valley, agricultural valley of California, which has no use whatsoever just to try to keep the federal money.